the Department of Pathology was started in the year 1925 with Dr. T. S. Tirumurthy as the professor and the head of the department. Taking into account the invaluable contributions made by Dr. Bhaskar Menon, the department was christened in his name. Since then, several papers including description of ash of bodies, cirrhosis of liver, chutta cancer, sickle cell hemoglobinopathies have been published. This department is forming the key part in the specimen examination in all the health sectors around the district. I am proud to say that I am a student of this great uh, alma mater, Andhra Medical College. This college has produced many, many um, uh, intelligent people who did a uh, lot of specializations and they have come up very well. And this college will definitely see some more of our students to come up in their life and establish themselves as good practitioners, uh, super specialists and very good teachers, that is more important. I wish all the best for the college. Thank you. The Department of Pharmacology was started in the year 1924 under Dr. Varghisa. Special mention has to be made of two professors, namely Dr. B. B. Dikshit and Dr. Ishwaraya. Dr. B. B. Dikshit, who became subsequently the director of All India Institute of Medical Sciences, and Dr. Ishwaraya, who earned great reputation as a teacher and subsequently headed many pharmacology departments in South India before and after retirement. A special unit of pharmacology on toxicology and another unit on de addiction are working as per norms of the. He had a lot of respect for them. They, have, they used to show a lot of affection towards us. Microbiology was earlier known as bacteriology. And the Department of Microbiology is housed in Bhaskar Menon's School of Pathology. The first professor of bacteriology department was Dr. Rao Bahadur C. Ramurthy. Research activities are going on and more than 150 papers have been published from this department. And the department deals with the diagnostic work of microbial infections from the King George Hospital and other allied hospitals. to be a part of uh, starting from my student days to becoming as a professor, so doing surveys, taking retirement. It is not a small period. The Department of Forensic Medicine was started in the year 1922 when the post-mortems were done by pathologists. Dr. G. D. Walid, MD, was the first head of the department. In addition to teaching the undergraduates and the postgraduate students, the department does post-mortem examinations, exhumations, medical legal case post-mortem examinations, medical legal age determinations and attending court duties as an expert witness in all the three courts. Mortuary has been shifted from the old building to a new spacious one with the state-of-the-art freezers. The department is also being moved from the pathology block to a new one besides the twin lecture gallery.